Yo, what up, what up, it's the kid CJ City. So we back with a brand new sneaker review today. We are going to be taking a look at the Air Jordan 6 Flint. Now, this is going to be a brand new colorway as far as the Jordan 6s go, but for all the old school fans, we know this originates from the Jordan 7 Flint. They decided to take that color palette and place it on the Jordan 6. Since the Jordan 7 and the Jordan 6 is kind of similar in design, I feel like it's just the perfect fit, perfect mesh. I'm feeling the sneaker. I got all the specs and all the details. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, so we have the Air Jordan 6 Flint right here. As you guys can see, the official colorway on these bad boys are going to be white slash dark concord black slash infrared. Not quite sure why the uh, gray is not listed on the official colorway, but, you know, we do have gray right here on the side panels. Um, official retail is $190. So let's just go ahead and dive into the details of this sneaker. This is a Jordan 6. The colorway, the color blocking might look really familiar, all right? And that's because if you guys remember, then the old school sneaker, the Air Jordan 7 came out in this exact colorway. It was basically the same thing. And those were also called the Flint Jordan 7. So they just incorporated that whole color scheme, that whole color palette on the Jordan 6s here. And I feel like it actually came out really good. You know, uh, it's a lot of similarities between the Jordan 6 and the Jordan 7. So let's just go ahead and dive into the details. First and foremost, you guys will be able to see this gray suede right here on the side panels. And I must tell you, once you guys get this in hand, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. This is really soft, you know, and this is not like a new bug. This is definitely suede. I like the fact that it's one solid gray. It doesn't have any weird stroke, you know, patterns when you rub it or anything like that. It doesn't look too ashy. So we do have our grays right there. And then we do have our tumble leather on the side panels that come in white. And I'm telling you, this is some really good tumble leather as well. When you guys, you know, press down on this, it's nice and soft to the touch every single place that you touch that. So that does come in our white. We do have our Jordan hang tag right here that comes in our purple. And then if you guys pay attention really closely on that hang tag, that is going to be reminiscent of the Jordan 7. So I like the fact that they incorporated the Jordan 7 aspect onto the Jordan 6. Definitely feeling that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front of the sneaker. You guys will be able to see the toe box. You know, the, the suede on there, nice and soft to the touch. You know, we can run along the, the tongue right here. That comes in our all black. We have our laces that come in our white. And then right here on the overlay on the tongue, that comes in black, but they incorporated a purple jump man right there. I like the hits of the infrared. You know, it kind of just gives off like a Raptors vibe, sort of like a Toronto Raptors jersey or something like that. I don't know, man, but I'm feeling that we do have that right here on our lace locking. And then you guys can see we do have an all black tongue right here. And then we have our Jordan stamping there as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the flip side of this sneaker. You guys will be able to see same thing going on here. We do have our grays and our suede, and then we do have our tumble leather right there on the top. Nice and soft when you guys actually press down on that thing. So, you know, A1 on the tumble leather. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of this sneaker. We do have all white tumble leather there. And then we do have an uh, all purple jump man with our infrared air. And then we do have our infrared right there on the back of the hill tap. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom of this sneaker. You guys will see they capped it off with some nice icy blue, you know, translucent bottoms there. And then we do have a little bit of our black traction with an all purple jump man right there as well. So as far as, you know, the Flint 7s, you know, just modeling that whole sneaker and taking that color palette and putting it on the Jordan 6, I feel like, you know, they absolutely, you know, killed that. I feel like that's perfect. I like the colorway. Drop those comments. Tell me what you guys are feeling. These sneakers will be in store. So head over to your local Chic store. And also make sure you guys head over to Chic.com for more information on how you guys can purchase these sneakers. So that pretty much wraps things up here. Make sure you guys drop those comments down below. Let us know what you guys are feeling about the Air Jordan 6 Flint. Also, before you guys go, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell. Turn on those notifications so you guys can get an email alert every single time we upload brand new sneaker content. Now, I got to let everybody know about a brand new subscription that we have on Chic.com. You guys can head over there as well and check out all of those subscriptions. We have three plans. Every plan is going to incorporate a free sneaker, a free outfit that you guys can put together. It just depends on which package, which subscription you guys sign up for. That's going to determine which sneaker you guys get. So check it out. We got some good stuff on there. Now, before we go, we must leave in fashion. I'm going to be hitting you with a 360 look of these sneakers. But until next time, I'm CJ City. I'm signing out. We appreciate all the love.